Hey guys, it's Stefana. Um, I'm recording this today because, you know, there's some people in tech that don't sit in the terminal every single day. And that's kind of like me. I spent probably two hours trying to figure out what the heck was wrong with me and why I couldn't complete this Terraform install um, in five minutes, like the beginner level it says. And since I spent two hours doing that, and I figured out what the heck I did wrong. I figured I'd record what I did wrong so that you guys can see how easily it can be overcome. And um, I'm hoping you find this video before you hit the two hour mark <laughs> when installing a very basic program. So um, the first thing is it says that installing Terraform, you wanna download the appropriate package, which I did. It's a silly zip file. Then you want to unzip the package, which again is very simple and I can show you through terminal. And then the last step is you want to make sure Terraform is available on the path. I thought that was crazy and I'm like, okay, that seems simple to do, but I was editing the wrong file for about, again, two hours. So I wanna show you what happens on my Mac. Um, again, this is for the Mac, so if you're using a different system, you're gonna have different instructions. Um, I don't have those for you, you probably can read it here. But if I go into um, my terminal, I'm going to um, just unzip the file first, and then I'm going to move the file. Um, I'm actually going to show you where you want to check that path as well. So when they say add, add Terraform to your path, um, you don't want to add the file to your path. You actually want to add a directory to your path and move Terraform to that directory. Um, most systems are already set up with this, um, but if it's not, we'll check to see if yours is. Um, what I'm going to show you is how to move that file of Terraform, the executable file, to a, an appropriate directory and make sure that directory itself is searched every time you run a command on um, bash or um, terminal, if you would here. So when they say add Terraform to your path, I don't actually do that. I add a directory to my path and move Terraform there. So let's do that now. I'm going to actually um, move to my uh, downloads directory here. Okay, so I changed to the downloads directory, forgot where I was, so now it's very simple, CD downloads. And then I'm going to just unzip and Terraform, and I'm just hitting the tab key because it found my specific um, zip file for me so that I don't have to type in that whole thing. It found what was in that directory. So you start typing Terraform, hit tab on your laptop or desktop, uh, keyboard and it will finish out the line for you. Click enter. It says inflating. Now Terraform is in that directory. You can always ls and see that that directory. I have a ton of files in there so I'm not going to do it but ls will show you everything that's there including Terraform the executable that we just exported. Now that I have Terraform in that directory I actually want to check what directory is on my path today, because that's what I want to do. I want to connect Terraform to the path that actually gets searched every time you run an executable at your bash um, command prompt. Um, so <clears throat> I'm going to first check this one file called bash profile. The interesting thing about bash profile is that um, it is actually what is used on the Mac. So I'm so used to using Linux that I thought I had to edit the profile file on Mac, you're actually using bash profiles. So again, um, don't make this mistake that I made. You're all laughing at me, I know. So I'm just gonna click, uh, hit cat, which shows me the contents of a file, and um, hit the bash profile file and see what's in there. Oh, of course, it's not going to do that because I don't have um, access to that file, yay. Or rather, I typed it wrong. Guys, why aren't you telling me this? <laughs> I 
There we go. So you can see here, I'm just going to move it up a little. Um, you can see here in that file, it says um, export path equals user local bin. So the answer for me is where do I want to move the Terraform file? I want to move it to user local bin because that is on my path. That's where things are searched when I run an executable at the command prompt. So all of your executable files that you want to run from the command prompt on your Mac should be in the user local bin file um, folder. Now, if you do not have that in this file, you can actually VI, which is um, to edit the file. I know some people use different programs to edit the, these files. Um, I'm going to show you VI because that's the one I know how to use. And if I VI, you can see I can edit this uh, file. Now, you have to type everything in pretty correctly. The way to add a line here is to scroll down. You want to scroll to where you want to edit. Um, I might add a line after here, say, for example. And you just click O or capital O um, in order to add a insert a line. Um, if you wanted to delete the line, you could actually just hit DD, lowercase. Uh, but that we're in the edit. If you can see, we're in the insert. I don't want to insert something, so I'm going to delete, and then I'm going to actually save this. But if I were to want to insert something, I would write export, right, path equals, and pretty much the line that's underneath this. I'm not going to do that today because it's already in my file. I'm waiting for you guys to take a screenshot of this so that you have the line that you need, which is path equals forward slash USR forward slash local forward slash bin colon dollar sign path all uppercase. Oh yeah, that was good. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm going to now go in and save this. I hit uh, escape and then I hit shift colon WQ that saves that file and I'm out of the editing. So shift colon WQ will get you out. It's really annoying to edit via VI. I don't know who loves doing that. And if you do love doing that, I apologize to you, but I really hate it. Uh, but that is what the command to get out of the VI. Okay, now that we're done there, I'm going to go in and make sure that the Terraform file is moved to that directory, user local bin. So I'm going to first um, make sure I know where I am. Um, and that is this, PWD. So in order to know where that file is right now, I know that it is in um, users. Stefana downloads and the file is Terraform. Okay. And I want to move it to, and remember, I, I write, wrote MV in the beginning, that's the move command. And I want to move it to, and this is simple, user local bin Terraform. Okay. And I'm going to hit enter. <clears throat> Done. That's it, guys. Real simple, right? So now that I've moved that file over there, if I type in Terraform, it works. Oh my goodness, this is so simple. It took me two hours to get here. It really shouldn't be that difficult. And frankly, the description and instructions on the Terraform page should have that for the basic beginner, or rather the person like Stefano who hasn't touched Bash in about two months and totally lost her mind. Um, well, everyone, I hope this helps you get the basic install done of Terraform or any um, executable that you have to run via the command line in your Mac. Uh, I hope uh, this helps. If you have any questions, probably best not to ask me, but you can ask me in the comments. Talk to you soon, guys.